days after the asteroid impact, a once blue planet is shrouded in darkness, and the landscape is anything but green. Fire, heat, and acid rain have battered the terrain until it's unrecognizable. Normally, Triceratops wouldn't travel more than a few miles a day. They wouldn't have to. But now, most of the continent is stripped of vegetation. Hunger drives the giant herbivores toward the Pacific coast. The devastation reaches all the way to the sea. But geography has a way of protecting certain places from cataclysmic events. In this case, an island, apparently untouched by the surrounding desolation. There may still be food here. The female Quetzalcoatlus has been flying for three days. desperate need of food. From 300 meters up, the island comes into view, but all is not as peaceful as it seems. Deep below the surface, the ocean floor was shaken by the asteroid's initial impact. Sedimentary rock disintegrates under the strain and collapses hundreds of meters into the ocean floor. On the surface, sea level plunges, triggering a massive swell. At the coast, the ocean is dragged back hundreds of meters from the land, exposing huge expanses of seabed. Exposed land suddenly creates a path to the island. The forest ahead of them appears untouched by the hellstorm of the ejecta. It seems too good to be true. Triceratops finally reach the promised land. Sheltered from the ejecta by sea mist and protected from fires by the surrounding ocean, the island has all the food they need. The Quetzalcoatlus hasn't had a decent meal in days. Shoreline simply wash away into the sea. 
the avalanche of water leaves countless dead in its wake. But as devastating as the first wave of disasters is, there's more to come. So here's the deal. I'm going to 